you you know one thing too like we kind of like talked about and mentioned earlier a little bit um even though you change people don't change with you and as you know you may change but the streets don't change and the people who may have felt stuff about you don't change Amen. you know and, and and you know that's something i, I bring up this because um and, and i'm pretty sure other people know but there were, were were issues that was created in the past by i'm guessing your cousin fred obey yeah. you know and everything like that and he did his own dissing you and and really you know not caring about the transformation you know kind of showcasing you know i still want that or whatever Wh where does all this come from and and and, and what are your thoughts on this whole situation when it come down to this. See, the enemy attacks our minds. So he have us to think like, oh, I don't care if he changed or not. When I catch him, he's still going to get it. But me personally, I got a power that's greater than me and anybody breathing, walking the face of this earth or any spiritual thing. Jesus Christ. So I don't care what nobody want to do me or how they want to do me. Anything, it don't matter. I got God. So... If you do do me something, God allow it to happen. So I'm gonna be thankful. For me to die is Christ. I gain. I don't like. I ain't gonna lose nothing. Like I'm gonna win eternal life. So when I do go, hey, it is what it is, my brother. Like so, if anybody do feel that type of way about me and mad that I gave my life to God, or still hold a grudge against me from what I used to think or what I used to say in these songs, I don't feel like that no more. I gave my life to Jesus. And I pray that they find God, and I'm going to continue to pray for them. Even the people who go against me, I'm going to continue to pray for them because I'm doing what God want me to do and not what the enemy want me to do. Mm -hmm. Because if I fight evil with evil, that's what the devil want me to do. But if I go overcome that evil with good, I'm doing what God want me to do, according mm -hmm. to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Have you, um, have you since, you know, because like you said, in your past, you was dealing with this, dealing with that. Even though you changed your life, have you been had to deal with anything coming back on you? You know, after you change your life, or you haven't really dealt with too much issues, you know, in the streets or anything like that since you didn't change? No, I ain't really had to deal with that because mm. God, God got me protected. Like same way he had the hedge of protection around Job, I believe that he got that same hedge and protection around us who truly follow and be obedient to His will, like. God protecting us, and yeah. they got angels that's really real and really watching us and observing us. So I be trying to be on my best behavior, yeah, yeah, yeah. straight up. So I'm not worried about nobody. God in control. Yeah, and people don't understand a lot of times that that joy, you know, that you that you get when you have God in your life. Like you said earlier, um, you know, I'm not worried about if something happened to me. You know, actually, like that's. That's a that's that's not bad for me because I'm going to heaven. Amen. You know, like like I, I like my judgment is is over. That's when my judgment happened, and then you know um, I'm going to heaven because my walk was with God. Amen. You know, uh, uh, it's worse to be here because you haven't made it into heaven or hell yet. Right. You know, you could slip tomorrow and then you lose your life, and then where you think you're going? To a lot of people don't think about that, right? Right. But it is, I'm glad that you brought that up because. Right there, that's telling people, look, you have God on your side. You have God in your life, and you're making the right moves, and you're doing the right things. No matter what happened to me, I'm good. Amen. I'm okay. Amen. You know? And they could see, like, really, I felt that when you said it. It's not just, you're not just talking. You really have a covering around you, and you don't, you you at peace. Amen. With how you feel. Amen. You feel what Amen. I'm saying? Amen. You know, and that's just a different type of peace. That, poor, that, that paranoia, I always say, you know, growing up. I've had a strong sense of paranoia, you know, uh, you know, coming up in L.A. and, you know, always fighting, having a big family. And, you know, everywhere we go, we watching our back, you know, mm. like, you know, that that's how we lived every single day. Man. You never know what's going to happen. You know, uh, you know, when you in your house, you going checking every door, you looking out the windows like literally that's the way I will move. You know, um, I would say up until, you know, I, I've, I've been on my walk, but up until probably like the last six, seven months. I feel more of a peace as I started growing stronger within my faith Thank when it come you, down to, you know, uh, walking with God and everything. And that paranoia that I used to have on that level is not there mm. anymore like that, you know. 
Like God is taking that away from me. Amen. And that was one of the things that I battled the most with. Man. Paranoia, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, God is good. People need to understand, like, when you really, really let them in, you get in your word, you start to understand the word. Yeah. And you start to put yourself, like, a lot of times, we. I'm, I don't know if you feel this way, too, but I'm reading the Bible and I'm looking at myself like I'm in, in that time, you know, and everything <laughs> like up. that, you know? Like, you get that deep. <laughs> Amen. In the world, in the word, where you just want to talk about it. You're trying to find somebody else who understand the Bible or whatever. You're trying to talk about it's it. It's so you good. You know, and everything it, like that, it be right? So good yeah. to us. It be so good to us. Like, the word, we be want to brag about it because you be want people to know what you know now. Because when you was in the world, living how you want to live and doing what you want to do, you know where you was going when you were without, without this word. So now that you got the word in you, you want people to feel what you feeling that made you surrender and get on your knees and crowd to God and want to get in his word and get to know him more. So you want, oh, look, give this word. Look, look, what would this say? Look, look, man, we need this because we yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. The Bible said man should not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So we need yeah. the word of God more than the food that we eat. Yeah, yeah. Man should not live on bread alone. Bread, food. But on every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. That's scriptures. We need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. I stuck in the ring, my eye on the mission. At a level of so this right here was my vision. Make it to the top, catch everyone's attention. The haters they can hate as long as they listen to the words that I say as my tongue keeps twisting. Heavyweight flow, you not in my position.